Welcome to Canadian Football, an extreme beginner's guide. Today we're going to be looking at Canadian football. After watching this video, you should have a basic enough understanding of this sport to follow a game in person or on TV. Please note that this is just a simple introduction, not an exhaustive review of all the rules. First things first, as you're likely aware, this is a ball sport. Here is what that ball looks like. Two teams play against each other with 12 players on the field. Each player takes a spot on the field and they each play a specific role for their team. The team with the ball is called the offense. They are attacking the other team's goal area, called the end zone. The team without the ball is called the defense. They are trying to keep the other team from getting the ball in their end zone, and if possible, getting the ball back from them. It is the job of the team with the ball, the offense, to attack the other team's end zone. To do this, they must move the ball. There are two main ways to do this. The first method of moving the ball is running with it. Running with the football is as simple as having the ball in your hands and running. This is seen as the safest way to move the ball forward. However, running usually doesn't move the ball very far. The second method of moving the ball is passing it. Passing backward may happen at any time and any person may catch it and continue running with the ball. A backward pass that isn't caught is a free ball up for grabs for anyone to get. There is also the forward pass. The throwing of the ball forward comes with a strict set of rules that limit its use. But the two major rules to know are, only one forward pass is allowed each play, and the play is over if the ball isn't caught. While the offense is running and passing the ball there is a special set of rules you should be aware of. To ensure that the offense is actively moving the ball forward, they are only given three chances to move the ball 10 yards. These attempts are called downs. 10 yards from where the ball is placed you will find a line called the line to gain. If the offense fails to reach this line to gain, the other team will take over possession of the ball. If the offense is able to get the ball to or beyond the line to gain, they will be granted another set of three downs. This is called getting a first down. If you are watching a game on TV, you will see the down and yards to gain near the score. If you are attending a game in person, the down and yards to go can be found typically on the scoreboard and on the side of the field where a group of officials hold special markers. On the other side, the defense isn't going to just let the offense into their end zone. They want to stop them from getting closer to their goal. The three primary ways to do this is Tackle the ball carrier Bringing the player with the ball to the ground will end the play. Making the ball carrier go out of bounds When a player with the ball steps out of the field, the play is over. Getting the ball away from the offense this is called a turnover. Anytime the defense ends the play with possession of the ball, a turnover has occurred. This can happen one of three ways. The player with the ball drops it and the defense picks it up. This is called a fumble. The ball is thrown and a defensive player catches the ball. This is called an interception. Finally, if the offense does not get the ball to the line to gain after their fourth attempt, the defense gets the ball and this is called a turnover on downs. So now that we have a basic understanding of how the offense moves the ball, we should talk about these goal areas. There are three ways for the offense to score points, the three-point field goal, the six, seven, or eight-point touchdown, and the one-point single. A field goal is scored when the offense kicks the ball over the crossbar and between the uprights. When a player brings the ball into the opponent's end zone, they have scored a touchdown. This touchdown is initially worth six points. 
From here, the offense has to choose to convert that touchdown to either 7 or 8 points. The safest and most common conversion is the one-point conversion field goal. This field goal is set up just like a normal three-point field goal mentioned earlier. The other method of conversion is the two-point conversion touchdown. The offense is given one chance to score a second touchdown. A successful conversion will see the touchdown valued at eight points. If the one-point conversion field goal or two-point conversion touchdown fails, the offense still retains their initial six points. When the ball is kicked into the defensive end zone and the defense is unable to get the ball back out, the team kicking gets one point. It is possible for the defense to score points. If they can cause the offense to end their play with the ball in their own end zone or going out of bounds in the end zone, the defense will earn two points and it is called a safety. And now, a quick summary. The offense has the ball. They get three chances to go 10 yards. Every time they do, they get another three chances. At the end of the field is the end zone where points can be gained. Kicking the ball gets three points, bringing the ball into the end zone gets six. They can play it safe and get an extra point, or take a risk for an extra two points. There is a single point that can be seen almost as a consolation point for a missed field goal, on the other side, the defense tries to stop them from marching down the field. If the defense is very effective, they may even get two points for their effort. Now that we have that covered, here are a few special things to note before we close up. When the game begins or after the offense scores, the game resumes with a kickoff. The kicking team boots the ball as far away from their end zone as possible, and the team receiving the kick tries to get as close to the end zone as possible. Once the play is stopped, the team receiving the kick becomes the offense and begins to play with their set of three downs. Since the offense loses the ball if they do not make 10 yards in three attempts, a frequent strategy is to give the defense the ball on their third down. By punting the ball, they ensure the defense begins their set of three attempts further away from their end zone than if they had a turnover on downs where they are at. However, if the offense is close enough to the defense's end zone, they'll likely try for a field goal on third down instead. The game time counts down from 15 minutes. There is a second clock that counts down how long the offense has to begin its next play. Hopefully, this short and simple introduction will give you enough knowledge to follow any game. But it doesn't end here. There is much more to know, strategy akin to chess, more rules than a tabletop strategy game, a litany of fouls and penalties, and 150 years of evolution. While Canadian football looks very similar to the American game on the surface, there are enough differences in the rules to change the feel of the game. Watch games, find helpful fans, and keep an eye out for other videos I'll post in the future. Seven Codes of Football creates educational and informative videos on various codes of football from around the world. We use motion media clips from various leagues around the world to help expand the fan base of these codes to areas of the world where they may not be well known. We use these videos under the terms found in Title 17 of the U.S. Code, Section 107, for fair use, specifically for teaching and scholarship. Seven Codes of Football has no desire to receive compensation directly due to the use of others' hard work. Aside from donation links or other crowdfunding links, the content of these videos will not be monetized. Additionally, copyright attribution is provided with links, if applicable, to the original source in the description area below.